The children are fast, but Big Bird is faster. What happened in 1845? That's not the year. That's his kill streak. Oh no, Big Bird. <laughs> Welcome back everybody today. We have yet another video of TikToks that Kermit the Frog and Elmo have sent me The last few videos you guys have absolutely loved so I thought I'd bring you guys yet another video And on top of that, I would like to let you guys know that I'm legally obliged to one dollar from Kermit the Frog's wallet For every person that leaves one like and subscribes on this video So guys rack up those likes and smash that subscribe button because I want to drain Kermit's wallet He owes me a lot of money now. Let's get into these TikToks. Okay, so if there's two squirrels per tree there might be more there's 50,000 trees 50,000 times oh, two is 100,000 squirrels and I've peed on 10 trees so 10 times two 20 squirrels 100,000 <laughs> oh my god <laughs> bro that face e equals mc squirreled <laughs> open the door <laughs> oh my god the official ryan air account free my bro kermit the frog got reminded of kermit the dog this is definitely kermit the dog that is a solid tiktok listen it's a good joke it's a great joke even uh, but i need you to stop anyway uh, we might have to censor that i like it because it's a joke and it's clearly just a joke but oh god not all of them bro he's smoking he's got the beer on him he's got the shiv He's got the Glock. He's got the strap on him, bro. They're all fucked up. Bro, you walk down the wrong alley in Sesame Street and see this. What you doing? Sesame Street is for us. Sesame Place is a gated community. Somebody called Sesame Street a sundown town. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. The children are fast, but Big Bird is faster. What happened in 1845? That's not the year. That's his kill streak. Oh no, Big Bird. Bro, they're all running for their lives. I'm not gonna lie, dude. If I saw a nine foot bird running after me, I would literally poop my pants and I would probably just pass out on the spot. If Big Bird's running, you're gonna run into these guys right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's why Big Bird wasn't in there because Big Bird's chasing him to go down this street right here. That's what it is. 9,000 IQ right here. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Ernie from Sesame Street getting his first colonoscopy. <laughs> what? Dude, this is why Conan O'Brien is the best. You're not going to see this on Jimmy Fallon. Good for you, Ernie. It's really good that you're doing this. Well, I have a family history. Okay, that's all right. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's my God. God. I don't want to see this. No, I don't want to see the inside of Ernie. Oh, God. I'm heavily sedated, yeah. but my eyes are wide open. I know. Dude, all the Muppets like being sedated. Man, I got to say, you're a little guy. That's a lot of tubing they're using there. <laughs> Bert, is that you oh, back for there? Oh! On live TV? Again, this is why Conan is the best. You're not gonna see this anywhere else, dude. Good for you, Ernie. You're getting your you're getting your checkup, but you seem to be enjoying it a little too much. I don't really have any words for that. No. Hang on, guys. While I was watching Ernie get a questionable exam on Conan, I actually spotted a castle near mine that I wanted to raid on the game Myths of Moonrise, which also happens to be the sponsor of today's video. Myths of Moonrise is a thrilling match three strategy game that is based in a supernatural world of vampires, werewolves, demons, and other legendary creatures. The goal of the game is to recruit heroes and level them up to explore the immersive storyline from chapter to chapter. You can also build, decorate, and upgrade your manor to include everything you need to become the most powerful in the game. In addition to your set of heroes that you can use against other people, you also have an army of bruisers, musketeers, riders, and vehicles that you can train and upgrade to expand your manor and fight against monsters or collect resources outside your manor. Oh boy, and speaking of motorcades, as he waits for the motorcade of Archduke Franz Ferdinand to round the corner, Bert prepares to change the course of human history forever. Oh no! Bert, you're the cause of it! <laughs> Bro, look at him. He looks ready. Wait a minute. As long as Bert doesn't intend to apply for art school after doing what he's about to do, I think we should be fine. Uh, keep him away from the art classes. Actually, you know what? Don't keep him away from the art. Accept him into the art classes. Yeah, keep him in the art classes because we all know what happens if he doesn't get into the art classes. You know who they did keep in art classes? The artist at Myths of Moonrise. As everything in the game from characters to buildings have an incredible attention to detail. Combine that with the stunning graphics and engaging gameplay and it makes for an incredibly fun and rewarding experience. Now my favorite thing in this game is the match three gameplay because nothing gives my brain 
brain more serotonin than stacking crazy combos of different color chains while battling enemies. One trick that I'll let you in on that makes defeating the enemies easier is to pay attention to the color types that they are assigned. It's pretty intuitive and easy to get with the blues being strong against the reds, the greens strong against the blues, the reds against the greens, and the purples and yellows strong against each other. Now before I go any further, I actually see some greens, yellows, and purples on this next TikTok drawing and I want to find out what it is. Uh oh. Dang, Kermit. He never skips leg day, look at that. Man, not like the real life Kermit. Have you ever seen the real life Kermit from my videos? His ankles, his legs are like this skinny. This dude always skips leg day. <laughs> Me trying to open a Damn, chapstick Damn, I messed up, wrapper. we gotta go ball, huh? oh! <laughs> no, for real though, for real. And then you don't even know which kind of chapstick it is. That's just the worst thing. Not only does this happen with chapstick containers, it'll happen with like anything with a wrapper around the top. I can't think of one off the top of my head, but that is like the worst feeling in the world. But the best feeling in the world is having a birthday. And Myths of Moonrise is celebrating their first year anniversary with a first year anniversary carnival with new gameplay, new heroes, and new Dusk Palace skins. On top of their carnival event, there are so many quests, games, challenges, and items to achieve and complete that you will never run out of things to do. They are always adding new events and items in game constantly and they even make it easy for you to keep up to date with an event calendar in the game. So guys what are you waiting for? This game is awesome. Go download the game using my link in the description or the pinned comment and if you're fast enough you can even join my Frog Boys Alliance to come fight with me in game. Thank you to Myths of Moonrise for sponsoring this video. Who me? Who me? Right. How would you <laughs> like to buy an old Oh, wait a minute. Listen, guys, I know I've had this meme in my videos before, but like straight up, why did Sesame Street put like a dealer uh, on, on the street? Why did they have to put that in a kid's show? He just sold him an O. He sold him an, a whole O live on Sesame Street, sold him that O. And here I was thinking I was being edgy with Kermit doing edibles and other substances of that nature when Ernie was buying an O live on PBS. Naughty. Every day I surprise myself with how bad I am with my money. <laughs> Wait a minute, I think Kermit had almost sent me this because I am notorious for literally spending thousands of dollars on very stupid items for videos that I may use once or not at all. I think this is them telling me that uh, I'm bad with my money because I definitely am when it comes to buying props for videos. That is an investment, me talking to my CPA. <laughs> It's a business expense! Me buying 40 cardboard cutouts and saying it's a business write-off? I'm a dangerous guy with a business credit card in my hand. So is Kermit though, which is why you guys need to smash that like and subscribe button so I can get one dollar. I really need that money back. It was pointed out to me in some of my comments that Kermit and Miss Piggy are in fact the same species. No they aren't. This is a two and a half minute TLDR. Of course they are the same species. They are both Muppets, <laughs> as this comment says. Oh, no. I don't know how to Cookie say Monster. this, but I'm afraid the diabetes has reached his thigh. Oh, no. We're gonna have to amputate. <laughs> oh, not this Cookie episode Monster. of Sesame Street is sponsored by the letter A for amputation. Oh no! <laughs> Guys, in our last video, we had the world's longest fax chain. Uh, and in this video, I want to see the world's longest F chain for Cookie Monster. Send your prayers to Cookie Monster in the comment section below. We need to see thousands of comments because his family is in mourning, clearly. Also, this video is sponsored by the letter L for leave a like on this video and S for <laughs> subscribe to this channel so I can get $1 from Kermit. Yo, Kermit, you got a frog in your throat? That's my Kermit, too. Kermit, what you doing, man? You sound like a squeaky toy. Uh, what is this? It's a minute long video of different noises coming out. Oh no! I saw the comment of the PS2 sound startup one. I was waiting for it. Oh gosh, the PS2 loading noise, otherwise known as the world's loudest sound. Also, when you walk into a restaurant, everybody looks at you. Wait a minute, who the heck is this guy? Is this Kerm Kerm? This looks like Kerm Kerm. Does Kermit actually have a kid? I think he does have a kid that's like canon on the show. I don't know, I, I don't keep up with the Muppets as bad as that sounds. <laughs>
You're a frog watching it walking into a restaurant. Wait a minute, that doesn't sound like Kermit. Frog watching it walking into a restaurant. Who's voicing Kermit? Bro, that does not sound like Kermit. Matt Vogel's Kermit voice is always a jump scare and triggers my fight or flight. For real. No, Noah, I agree with you. I agree with you. Disney, if you guys watch, I know one of you guys have watched my videos. Hire me. I will do Kermit's voice. Guys, leave a petition. Let me know in a comment down below. Let Disney know. I want to be the new voice because that is not Kermit. I can do Kermit's voice. I've been doing it for like seven years i feel like i should be pretty good at it what the ginger no <gasps> what this comment exactly sums up ain't no way dog again this is why conan o'brien stays undefeated on live tv has a dog assassinate kermit wait a minute there's like a lore in my videos that kermit's always said that a dog ate his dad is this kermit's dad because this looks old is this the dog that shot Kermit's dad and then ate Kermit after the cameras cut off? Oh my god, I'm solving like a 40 year old murder case. They thought that they was slick. They thought they could hide this from everybody. This was the evidence that never got leaked to the press until today. Yeah, officer, this guy right here. FBI, open up! Dude, these look bussin'. Do you want a brownie? I want a brownie. You want a brownie? I want a brownie. Well, too bad. They're beans. Oh, gross. They're beans. <laughs> the amount of anger I would have if somebody brought that platter of brownies to like a cookout and I reached in to go get my dessert and it's just a whole spoonful of beans. Bro. What are you doing? What is this guy doing? What are you doing, bro? <laughs> I know why Kermit sent me this one because this is exactly how his, his gym was like. Kermit has two gyms, in case you guys didn't know. He's done two videos on it. And these are the type of people that go inside of his gym. It's seven in the morning. <laughs> Top five best and easy gym exercises to do. The exercises. <laughs> how the villains train for centuries just to get defeated by the power of friendship. Gyms in Ohio be like. Oh god, that's terrible, bro. We will never know what species Master Yoda, Grogu, or Master Yaddle are because that's the way George Lucas wanted it to be. Uh -huh. When George Lucas passed the rights for Star Wars onto Disney, he made a rule that he never wants the pointy-eared green character's backstory or species to be revealed. That's random. The closest answer we've gotten from Lucas on where Master Yoda was from comes from the documentary From Puppets to Pixels, where Lucas jokes that Yoda is the illegitimate child of Kermit the Frog and Miss Piggy. This is actually the illegitimate child of Kermit the Frog and oh. Miss Piggy. Wait. Yes, because Kerm Kerm is like the most powerful being in the universe. Did I unironically make something that was like canon? Oh God, dude, when I created Kerm Kerm, I just thought it'd be funny to have him be ultra powerful, but now I understand why, because Kerm Kerm grows up to be Yoda. No, that's why he went to space. Oh, it makes too much sense. How do I do this unironically? So many times, accidentally, I make things can like canon. How do I do this? Oh, God, guys, my brain is melting. It's too much of a coincidence. I literally cannot take this. My brain is melted. So I guess that's where we end the video today. Guys, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button so I can get a dollar from Kermit. Click one of these two videos for other TikTok react videos and let me know in a comment what you want me to react to next. Thanks for watching. Bye.